Now let's talk about ECN management. You notice that our Lexmark 4029 power supply is ECN managed or we're tracking engineering changes that are made to this item. We can view previous uh, changes that are closed or both that are open and have been closed. Let's drill down on this build manufacturing and see what's happening with this engineering change notification that we have here. First of all, we can drill right down to the item master itself. Notice it is ECN managed. From here, we could also find out where it's being used. We can see which bills of manufacturing it's in, any planned production orders, or production orders that have been released to the shop floor. Of course, we can also look at closed production orders where this item has been used. We could also come back and replace this item on the bill of manufacturing with any other inventory item that we have in the system. Getting back to our engineering change notification, notice we have changed it a few times, but we have one that's still pending. Let's drill down and see what the change is and make the determination if we will approve this or not. You can have this tied to an alert and a workflow in the system so that before any bills are changed, you have the chance to look over it and approve it first. And notice that it's open, it's pending. And the uh, remarks are that we're trying to add a toolkit for installation in the field right here. We'll go ahead and come over and simply say that it's approved, assuming that uh, it meets your requirements, to have a begin effectivity and an end date on that. So we click update here. It will put in the new bill that we just approved. You can come back over and refresh the bill. And then you'll notice that we've included our toolkit. So engineering change control and where use functionality is just that simple within SAP Business One. And that's what makes it so powerful.